Hello and welcome to episode 65 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. I'm Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, in a very slight change to the advertised schedule, I've got two matches for you. We're at home to Luton Town in League One and then away to Northampton Town, also in League One. So uh, let's get straight into it and I'll show you the team for the Luton game in just a moment. OK, well here is the uh, team for that game against Luton and it is coming in goal back for Small, Elise, Poole and Ross. Innocent at the base of midfield, Wright and Gamble ahead of him. Somerville on the left wing, Chaplin on the right, Sharif up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. OK, my assistant manager is recommending we've been on a good run lately, go out there and impress me. I think that's fair enough. I'm going to do it with no gesture this time. And uh, that's left everybody pretty composed. Happy with that. So let's go into the tunnel. Uh, am I hopeful for a performance? Uh, happy with the preparation. I think we're going to go out there and play to a good standard. Um, you think the first goal will be crucial. It's nice to start well. Um, how hard are you find the recent fixture list? Um, we're always up for the challenge. Okay, so let's get into the match and see if we can uh, grab the win. As always, first 10 minutes is going to be all about uh, seeing how the game's going and reacting accordingly. And... Uh, We've got the first highlight. Ross plays it forward for Chaplin on the right-hand side. He's in the area, but the shot is well over the top of the crossbar. So let's uh, demand more and start casting an eye over the player ratings. As I'm doing that, we're on another attack. Sharif to Gamble to right. Innocent to Small on the left-hand side. Plays it back to Innocent. Further back is Elise into right. Dinked ball in for Connor Chaplin. He grabs his sixth goal of the season. And it is Ipswich Town 1, Luton Town 0. And uh, we await the, uh, the next highlight to see if we can capitalise on that. It is the only uh, shot on target so far that's given us the lead. And uh, we do definitely deserve to, uh, to have the advantage. So let's encourage once before half time. As we get another highlight. Uh, small into right. Somerville to small. He's lost it. Campbell goes all the way back to his goalkeeper Sherwood. Who finds Humphreys. Plays it across to Clark. Diagonal ball. Over the top of Grocock. Ross wins it back for Ipswich. Finds Chaplin. Infield to Ross. Ball over the top for Sharif. His shot is over the crossbar. And that should be that for the first half. It is. Ipswich 1, Luton 0 at half time. Into the dressing room. Things are going well. Capable of even better. Do we need any subs at half time? No, I don't think we do. So we'll go straight back out for the second half. And uh, let's see what we can uh, do in the second half. Can we uh, take advantage? Let's demand more. I'm going to take Sharif off. He isn't playing brilliantly. So let's bring on Joe Hugill up front. And uh, we'll save our remaining sub for as long as we can. We will demand more again. I'm not going to go attacking because we are winning the match. And I don't want to risk letting uh, Luton back into it. But uh, the longer this goes on, the more that is a danger. So, right, Somerville needs to come off. And we'll bring on Steve Ellis. And I am going to go attacking now to try and see the game out on 89 minutes. Uh, three minutes of stoppage time. 
and we have done it. It was Switch Town 1, Luton Town 0. I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the second match of today's episode, away to Northampton Town. Team for this one is coming in goal, back four of Paul, Elise, Fredrickson and Ross. Innocent at the base of midfield, right and Gamble ahead of him. Somerville on the left, Chaplin on the right, Sharif up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant manager is recommending uh, that we're on a good run and we should try, try and impress, uh, that they should try and impress me. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the right thing to do. Uh, although, actually, I'm going to say we're the favourites. Go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. And that seems to have gone down pretty well. So uh, let's get out there and do it. And as always, first 10 minutes, we will do absolutely nothing that we don't have to. And just wait and uh, see how the uh, game is playing out after that point. Uh, we've had the better of the opening 10 minutes, but it is Northampton with the uh, first live action highlight. Although we've won it back and it's Chaplin now to Ross on the right hand side. Ross looking for support, plays the ball over the top, Sharif brings it down and Martin Sharif has his fourth of the season and it is Northampton time nil, Ipswich time one. So good start to the match. Can we build on that and uh, extend the lead? We certainly... Uh, deserve to be ahead can we uh, capitalize on it and uh, take it further away from uh, Northampton as we have another highlight which begins with Northampton in possession Edwards comes over halfway down the right hand side forced backwards Elaine gives it to Martin who crosses and Ross wins it back uh, but it's offside anyway, so wouldn't have counted. And we've got 10 minutes left in the first half. I'm not going to uh, look to make any changes at half time. I don't think we need to. Uh, we've got one more highlight to uh, get through though. Elise to Fredrickson. Chaplin plays it right to Ross. And he spins, finds Gamble, plays it in for Chaplin, crossed in, and Sharif adds his second of the match. And uh, it is Northampton Town nil, Ipswich Town 2. And that should be the halftime score, and indeed is. So let's go into the dressing room. And uh, yeah, we've, we've had a lot of shots on target. I'm pleased. And I am going to just send them straight back out again. Um, keeping an eye on a couple of players for uh, fitness related reasons. Uh, notably Ross at right back. Who's in possession now. Plays it forward for Gamble. Who's lost it. And uh, Gamble is beaten to it. Cumming comes out and grabs it. But uh, it's a penalty and it's Bloxham with the penalty. But he's hit it straight at coming and it's a comfortable save. Uh, I am going to take Ross off now and bring on Alabiosu. As I'm doing that, Northampton have scored. So despite not converting the penalty, they have got themselves a consolation. And they're on the attack again. It's headed away. Somerville gets it further clear. I think we need a demand more at this stage. And Somerville brings it away again to Poole on the left. Poole over the halfway line. Forward for Sharif, who's in behind and blazes wide. Massive opportunity goes begging to uh, probably put the game to bed. And I am going to take Somerville off the left winger and bring on 
uh, Steve Ellis as Chaplin has a free kick round the wall off the uh, woodwork and out of play by Northampton for a throw into Ipswich and my final change is going to be right for uh, Jack Spong and we've got just about 15 minutes left a narrow 2-1 lead um, right let's get on the attack and try and see the last few minutes out it's coming to Elise to Innocent back to coming plays it to Elise again to Fredrickson back to coming I wish we'd get it out of the box Elise finally does Sharif back to Spong Ellis Spong to Poole on the left hand side looks for support now goes past his man now he does need help does find Spong though back to Innocent who crashes a shot and it will be a corner to Ipswich it's Spong with the in-swinging corner and can he find a blue shirt uh, no it's headed away and Martin uh, collects it for Northampton but uh, only hits it straight to Innocent who finds Alabiosu and the highlight comes to an end and that proves to be the final action of the match as it ends Northampton Town 1, Ipswich Town 2. I'll be back in a moment to show you the league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode. OK, time now to take a look at the uh, league table. And after uh, two wins on that episode, we are now back inside the, uh, the top six in sixth position on 23 points from 11 matches just three points off the uh, leaders Bradford and we have a game in hand on them as well so uh, let's take a look at when we're going to come back and given that we're at the end of October I think what I'm going to do is come back for the home match against Plymouth Argyle on the 8th of December and the home match against Woking on the 15th so uh, if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to my channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye